Ha, here with more Imperion. Yay! Okay, and so <laughs> let me get some. Let me get sorted here a little bit. Uh, so you can see the ship is online. We've gone ahead and put the scanner on because we don't want to repeat the mistakes that we have made previously. Just to show you what's going on here, we are at just under, you know, 90-ish, 90-some-odd percent utilization. So we're okay. I've gone ahead and filled everything up. We've got our fuel. We've got Pentexit. We've actually got uh, oxygen. Oh, ammo. I need to get ammo. Uh, you guys all use the same stuff, right? Alright, so let's look at here. Ammunition controller. We want to go to the output. Uh, you are actually... I th are you using the... I don't remember. I don't remember what we're using. Uh, let's go here. All right. So. All right. So you're using the fifteen one twenty sevens. The turret, I think, is using the same. Where is our turret? And you're using that. Where's it not? Where's it not? Shitter. It's fairly easy because that means we've got those. And I may actually have, let's go, ammo box. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in... Really? <laughs> I swear. <laughs> let's go in here. Uh, this should actually be that one. Yeah. All right, so... We should be able to get quite a few uh, out of the box, thank you. There we go. Alright, now the question is, is are we going to be able to fly with that? I'm not sure. We're going to find out. <laughs> oh, so I packed a little bit of food. And we've got a little extra fuel. Hey, we know we can actually get out. Okay. Haven't really flown this thing around too much. Yes, I know. That's fine. Awesome. Alright, so we're airborne. Our shield is online. We have a jump drive. Let's take this thing out into space and see how she handles. Alright. Not too bad. Oh, I forgot to put some armor blocks in. Um, that could be an issue. <laughs> But overall, I have to say overall, it's... Alright, so... Now that we have gotten away from planetary gravity... See, the real question is, is how many people remember having gravity pull you down into the planets? For the, the really long-term players, when you first... When the game first came out, there used to be a, a an area that, if you were so close enough to it, you would actually drift into the planetary gravity well. Alright, so... Had the heat signature over there. Mm 
looking at heat signature over there, which means there's probably something worth mining over there, and there's definitely something mining over worth mining over here. So that's a hostel. A hostel down there, so there's probably something worth mining. Now, this thing is not built to be a frontline combat ship. <laughs> worth taking on. But you know, it's okay. There's an iron asteroid, which I'm assuming is that which is their way of saying it's not really worth going after. What we're really looking for are the things that have uh, defenders on them. Because those are the things that will end up being things like your Promethean, they're going to be gold, they're, they're going to be the things that are the higher value. And so you, you do want to kind of focus on that stuff. And if you can get close enough, we'll be able to identify what these guys, hopefully identify what these guys are before we get to the point where we can't break off engagement. Blair's Freighter. Heat Signature level one, which means it should be that is a hostile station. Defense station. Now, we don't want to get too close to that. There's a cutter. And that's why we don't want to get too close to it. <laughs> oh. All right. So the cutter, I want to say, is actually like a CV. Yeah, that's a CV. We don't want to mess with the CV. Um, its scale of weapons is basically at a level that we can't really deal with at this point. Like if we were to go pick a fight with that thing, oh, it would hand us our butts. So what we're looking for orbital production. That looks like that might actually be let's see. What are you? Are you mineable or are you just... Uh, you're not showing up as mineable. Which tells me you're probably just stone. Uh, but we have found a couple of resources out here, which is fine. Yeah, you're just stone. You're an interesting looking stone, but you are just stone. Okay. So we do actually have the Promethean asteroid over there. So let's swing around to the far side of the Promethean asteroid. We'll see if we can get close enough. There's probably going to be a small drone fighter over there defending it. But we should be able to take that out. Alright, so... Let's swing around this way. Oh, there's another... There's another asteroid over there. Alright, so let's go this way first. I think we need to be within five kilometers in space to identify it.
Alright, so we've got two heat signatures over there. And this is why I wanted to get a uh, vehicle based drill on board. Because then we would be able to basically come over here like this, do a little bit of looting. I'm going to check to see as if anybody's closing in on us. Might be able to get away with this. It's a little Promethean looting, right? Let's see if we if we mount a uh, vehicle drill, because we actually have the beam the beam drills for the vehicles. We'll be able to actually come out and do this kind of like hit and run mining. Yeah, if we see anything pop up within like two kilometers, we're we're out of here, like quickly. Normally, what I would do is try and secure this before we got to this point, but uh, you know, it's fine. How much methane is that? That's only forty-four. Yeah, we need to. We'll need the vehicle drill, because I think the vehicle drill... Keep your eye on everything. Somebody let me know if you see anything red pop up on the uh, the radar there. <laughs> I'm trusting you to keep, to keep an eye on my backside for me. I do have the EV um, suit mod on. Quite a bit of Promethean out here. Looks like we actually had one of the uh, friendly, somewhat friendly faction ships swing by and say hi. There's a CV floating around out there. If you see that little orange one, I'm thinking that might be one of the Polaris ones. Which I wouldn't be. Uh, Sad to see, hang around just in case. But like I said, I'm more worried about getting the resources right now than I am about the efficiency, so I'm not going to worry too much about. Got a little too close to it. <laughs> oh, inventory is full. All right, let's head back over. We're going to move the ship a little bit closer to where we were. I'm going to check to make sure there's nothing in our immediate area. Alright, so we want storage box one. Really? Right, can I get that over there? No. Right, so we're going to grab the last little bit of this. See if, how much more of this we can grab. Basically, we'll get a we'll get a, a full pocket full. We'll take this back. We can process it down into fuel. 
Rinse and repeat. And once we head back, what I'm going to do is, since we actually have a little bit of pocket change, uh, let me check here really quick. Yeah, we're still good. Uh, but because we have a little bit of pocket change, what I'm thinking is, is that we're going to start doing a little bit of uh, resource gathering so that we can increase our CPU limit on the ship. And then that will allow us to start setting up things like having, you know, like real, real mining operations going on. Uh, you look like you might be getting a little close there. Alright, so let me check to see how much room we've got. On ten, we're getting close. Probably get a couple of more. Where are we at? It's 33. And that would be the end of it. All right. So I think what we're going to do is let's drop that. Pick that up. Where are we at? Okay. We got plenty of room again. Ooh, got some graphite. Is that what we're looking at on that? Is that actually graphite or is that just for some? It looks like it might just be one of the things we get for picking up some stone here. Let's drop you again. you up. Alright, I think that's probably about as much as we're going to get, which is fine. So we have a couple of choices here. We have um, let's see here. There's an orbital production. So Oh, let's see. Center there. You know what? Let's head back. So we'll head back down to, T to Taladar. We'll uh, drop this stuff off. Let, you know, start getting some of this stuff processed. And we're going to look at what we need to make the, uh, since we have, there's those areas beside the landing gear that are open, we may take out the blocks that are in there and put the controllers in or the uh, the cpu extenders and then we'll put armor blocks on that to seal it off and that should give us a ridiculous amount of cpu which means we'll be able to put much more on the ship bigger everything all right so how is it i came down over my base and i'm in xerox territory I hate that. That is really annoying, actually. <laughs> uh, so it used to be <laughs> you could aim for where you were trying to land and you would come down on the pl in the planet. Oh, man. Oh, well, here's what it is. It's fine. Hey, look, I'm hostile with Xerox, you think? How much have we been shooting at each other? <laughs> I mean, really. <laughs> Just, how much have we been shooting each other? And you don't you think we're not hostile at this point? Sheesh. Alright, so our shuttle, the crash shuttle, is our target. And I'm not even going to land in the hangar. We're just going to land on the pad. That was copper. So if we actually need resources, we can go do some resourcing. I'm not too worried about it. What I am worried about resource-wise is... Um, Get distracted here. 
are the basic stuff like iron. But, you know, things that I can't get easily, I'm not too... I'm... what I'm more worried about. The stuff like iron that I can get fairly... Alright, so what we're gonna do... I go... want this to be the base. Input. It's gonna be over there. There we go. And we can drop that off as well. All right, so 192 is what we have. Let's go in here, grab our small constructor. Now to make that, we need one ore, so we can do 200 of these. Actually, do 200 of those. And that'll crank out a bunch of stuff for us, All right? Alright, so now drop out of here, go into the advanced constructor. We look at our electronics. Right, and then I want these. We need the optics bridge, right? The optronic bridge. We've got one. I need to make seven of those. Alright, so to make seven of those requires what? Gold. Gold is the one thing that we need. Hmm. Yeah. So I need eight, so I have sixteen of those. I'm wondering if I can if I can just actually straight buy those to make them. I need five gold ingots each. So that's three, five, eight. So I need eighty. Is that right? So I need eighty gold ingots. All right, so that means we want let's go see if we can pick them up over at the trading center. I may have to head over to the mining outpost, but I might be able to get them. That's over here. I might be able to get them over here. We'll, we'll see how much they cost. Um, I'm not certain I'm gonna have the money for them. I may I may have to get because oh, it's 16 of those. It's gonna cost me about 14k each. I know I can't I can't buy that, so I have to see if I can get the gold. So let's try here first. If I can if I can buy things from these guys. I'd rather buy stuff from these guys if I can. Alright. Are you gonna let me in? I don't know if I'm able to get in here or not. I get if I go down here hi we're uh yeah we're gonna stay out of there be able to loot it, but I don't want to piss off these guys. All right. Oopsie. Wait for our tanks recharge. 
All right, so if you're not gonna let me in, I could swear I could get in here before. All right, well, you know what? That's fun. Um, maybe over there. Trying to figure out where's my where are my best chances of finding the resources I need. I mean, it never hurts to check the trade station. Yeah, that'd actually fit pretty nice. Okay. My light was on because it was so blinding in here. Armor locker. I mean, I guess I could have brought stuff over to repair it too, but eh, it's okay. Oh, let's see. Security. So maybe you. Let's see what he's got. Do you have anything worth useful? No. And you're not actually buying anything useful either. I might actually have an upgrade kit back at the base. Because Sanctuary is like right over here. It's just on the other side of this thing. Yeah, there it is. Oh, we said these things these this particular base has always needed to have a uh, landing pad on it because the idea is that you're probably coming in on a ground-based vehicle I believe uh, yeah. here but I see what you got he's got gold and how many did I say I needed I need 80 of these He's got 14. How many? How much is 14 going to cost me? Will that get me enough? Uh, that's going to be. Actually, got some stuff that I could probably use, but Ooh, reinforced medium armor. Um, but nothing that I really, nothing that I really need. Okay, so and these are all reputation hitters, yeah. All right, so we're gonna head back out here. Actually, what job are you looking to have filled? I don't look for anything to be filled. Okay. It's actually, oh, you're just buying. Man, I'd love to be able to start doing that where we're hauling the waste. At some point, we're gonna get to the we're, we're gonna get to the point where we can do that. Alright. 
So this may just be a process of me spending a couple of days doing this, but I don't want to do that. Let's head over to the mining outpost. Because what, what I'm really wanting to do is get as much of this as possible. If I need 80 total, because there's no gold left on the planet, I mean, I could go mine, like go find gold on another planet or... Do we have gold on any of the nearby planets? It's a good question. Hold on a second, let me check. Through panel, give me. There we go. No gold there, no gold out there. Let's see. Is that gold? No, it's Sathium. Kaya World Haven. See, there's a potential for all sorts of stuff out here. Man, that's annoying. All right. Okay, I'm tempted to go out here just because of all the stuff that's out here. But I think what we need to do is we need to get at least one of the extended on here, preferably two of them. Um, the CPU extenders. Because then I can actually put the mining, the mining beams on this thing. Be able to do some resource gathering while we're in the ship make things so much better. Of course, I have to put a harvest controller on it too, but, you know, these are all things that we can deal with. Tank station. Used to be able to loot those. All right, here boy. Let's see what we got. Ah, no gold. Okay. Control room, generator room. We know that there's nothing over on the other side worth anything. I mean, we could tr maybe head out to the uh, research ship. Let's head out that way. Before we forget, I want to go here. Alright, so let's... Terry fourteen. All right, let's try let's try the trade station first.
We'll see if not. Maybe because maybe they'll have it. Maybe. Just maybe they'll have it. Alright, so are we locked in on that? Such a pretty thing. Such a pretty sight. All this to find gold. Uh. And see, this is why I put a uh, waypoint on it before, was so I could find it. <laughs> oh, so we'll get over here. This way? Yeah. Kind of curious. What services are you offering? Yeah. So we can refuel more oxygen. It's actually not too bad price wise. Let's head up and mark it. So we're looking for tech with the resources, which might be you. You're actually, you're generally commodities, but that's okay. Yeah, useless stuff, okay. Let's see what you have. No gold, though. Um, let's see. Yeah, just magnesium powder. Anything useful? No. You're just buying stuff. Uh, I could actually bring because things like the vegetables and fruit I'm growing, so I could actually bring those up here and sell them off. I don't know that it's actually worth the fuel, honestly. Are you? I miss the days when there was random stuff just like stuck in the uh, eh, narcotics. Multi booster. Right. So, what I'm probably going to have to do then is wait for the trade outposts to get gold back into stock. And. That is really annoying. Because you you just know that in one of these things... Oh, look at that. Xerox, huh? Nice. Uh, they're buying them, but they're not, they're not selling them. Hmm. All right. 
right. Well. I miss the days of being able to basically loot that stuff. Used to be able to pick all of that without a worry. And <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to quit harping on that. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so do we actually have what I'm wondering is do we have So that's probably the orange, like the actual oranges. I thought there was one. I guess I could. Buy two of those. Because I think I need that for one of the foods that I want to make. And I think, because I haven't gone looking for... I haven't gone looking for uh, anything. Uh, specifically looking for the mushrooms. Uh, it's tech division. I don't think there's anything in here that I need. point head over here if they don't have any gold or the small uh, the small optic bridge then we'll take then we'll uh, head back and we'll see if we can get things to respawn over time I just don't know how how often they're going to get more resources in. If they do at all. Because I, I may actually have to go find gold in the system somewhere. Or we we'll end up making a CV and jumping into a different system. Which, you know, we're going to have to do at some point. But I would really rather not do that particular build yet. Um, I think we're going to end up building a station somewhere in deep space. We actually may build it in the, uh, the area near the trade station. I haven't decided yet. I guess we could, we should probably start thinking about that, huh? But it is what it is. Using my boost. There you go. Oh, you get up to 154, that's not bad. Hey, anything out here. All right. Now, we made the mistake last time of <laughs> coming in a little hot. Let's uh, not do that again. There's a nice ship design. I do kind of like that, actually. So for those who don't know, that right there is what the sensor used to look like. And I'm thinking that's probably the advanced sensor now. Uh, you know what? 
just sit down here. It's fine. All right, let's see what you have. Okay, so you've actually got nothing in style. You got a data pad. 95k if I want to buy it. But that, you know. Mm. Nice. So he'll buy they'll buy those for hundred K, huh? I have to remember that one. Lots of schematics, but yeah, nothing useful. Alright, let me go turn those lights off because Damn damn well blinded me. Oh your lab's that way, which means It's always good to know. Armory, med bay. Uh, let's see if anybody, if there's anybody over here doing some trades. Doesn't look like it. But we can do that. We can do that. <laughs> How full are we? Oh, hey man, I am not gonna knock. They want to give me free stuff. I'm gonna take it. You know, it's like. I was hoping they would have something over here for trades, but this is residential, I believe. Yeah. It's all residential stuff. So I might be able to get stuff off the bridge. Is there anybody over here doing anything that we can research computer, science computer, need research? In the rogue system general origin object 82 all right so if we do that ten light years huh? Can I get there? No. That's rough. Okay. that oh hello um, let's turn off the warp lines <laughs> yeah see not not there's no gold uh, 
Not seeing anywhere with gold on it. So let's look out here. No gold. No gold. Let's let's hit the planetary remnant because we've got a bunch of stuff that we might be able to go uh, pick up. What I need to do is get to the point where I can have a large enough ship to have cargo that we can actually start hauling goods with because like these guys how much cargo does he say we need eight thousand free space yeah we're not ready for those So because we have this here, all right, so if we select on this, it'll tell you if you can do it or not. Now, if I'm at any of these, I can actually teleport back here. that nurture just because we can see I actually I actually remembered to do things like bring food with me this time <laughs> yeah. hostels here last time there's a station over there Ice asteroid. See, I didn't have sensors with me last time I came out here, or a scanner with me. So I ended up basically running around in a bunch of different directions and not really finding anything that I was looking for. facility now we can't mine from that well we could but we would start a fight with Polaris and I'm not willing to do that what I'm hoping for is being able to land here And hopefully head in. We can. Awesome. Now what we're going to do is see if we can find somebody to shop from. Of course that would. Uh, let's see. Head down here. That is... Really annoying. All right, um, I like the windows though.
Any curious to see what's up here? That would be the drill operation. All right, well, let's see what you guys have to offer. Uh, you've actually got stuff that I might be interested in. laser drill. Auto mining core. Yeah, so it's actually got the ores. Alright. This is good to know, actually. Let me check all of these just to see if there's one that we can loot for some free stuff. Uh, look at that Promethean just sitting there. Alright, so if we go back up here. Head back inside. Okay, so there's nowhere else over here to go. See? That's why you always check these things. You never know. At least they gave me one. That was kind of a, just a, a gimme, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Detox kit. Always a nice find. These are actually not bad little designs, like station designs. Unfortunately, oh, there's stuff over here. All right, so what's up here? Are you just for those who want to take a romantic stroll in deep space? All right. Medical stuff. Obviously, we can't use any of those. All right. Let's go ahead and get back on the ship. I'm kind of curious because. This implies that there's places to go out here, but it's fun. If we can find anything worth finding. Like I said, I thought I found some stuff out here before. See heat signature. Oh, there it is. Get out that way and see the see what's out there. One fifty five. Eh, you know, not too bad, right? Okay, so I think what we're going to do is I'm going to fly around this area, see if I can find stuff worth picking up. I mean, ice is not never a bad thing. It's iron. Really? Ah, son of a... <laughs> oh, 
Uh, we'll, head, we'll head this way and see if we find anything else. But as I was gonna say, you know, it's never hurts to go exploring because you never know when you're gonna find something. But uh, yeah. So I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and call this one here. Thank you for stopping in. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Had a lot of fun hanging out with y'all. What I am going to do between now and next week is do some exploring and see if we can find the materials that we need to make the items that we want to make in order to improve our ship. I mean, realistically, what it's probably going to happen is, is I'm going to probably have to see if I can find somebody who's selling it, but um, we may actually need to just go ahead, bite the bullet, build a base, like build an actual planetary state, like a station somewhere. And then uh, see how that goes. It's kind of irritating that I'm not finding more resources. There should be more stuff out here. But is what it is. We'll make we'll make do with what we've got, right? So anyway, we're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna thank you all for stopping in. Uh, hope you have a fantastic day. Enjoy the rest of your week, and we'll see you back here next time for more Purion. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. And remember, never tell me the odds. <laughs> Ah, bloody iron asteroids. <laughs>